All right, guys, we're over here in front of the big screen and lounging on the couch to give you a little bit of an overview of how you'd set up the ROG phone for the living room. So the first accessory I wanna to talk to you about is the ROG phone edition of GameVice. And that's this product right here. And it's been customized, so we've got the USB Type-C in exactly the right place. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is line those up, just like so, slide it in. And then we're gonna take the other side, stretch it out a little bit, and put the phone in just like that. It's super easy. Now, once you've done this, you actually have physical controls that you can use with the ROG phone. So GameVice supports a few hundred games with pre-built profiles, but even if your game doesn't have a profile, you can easily set it up yourself. So let me show you how. We're gonna swipe here and go ahead and bring up Game Genie and tap on key mapping. Now you can see I've done most of the setup already for Free Fire but I need to add one thing, and that's the control here on the left. So I'll show you how to do that. We're just gonna hit the plus button and go to arrow keys. And I can do this with all of the different buttons and joysticks on the controller, which is really cool. Once we have that, we're gonna tap and drag it over here, hit the X button, and now you can clearly see that my joystick is controlling the character's movement. Now, moving around like this with the joystick, one joystick controlling my movement, the other looking around the screen controlling the camera. This is way easier than moving around with my thumbs on the screen. Really a nice experience to have the physical buttons. Okay, so we covered the game vice. Really nice physical controls there. Now I wanna to talk to you about Ygig. This is a wireless dock for the ROG phone. What it allows you to do is connect your phone's display to a huge display, like a TV or even a projector. So I'll give you guys a look. First, you can see this is really small and light. Actually, you could fit on your desk even. If we turn it around here, we can see the IO. I've already got it powered up and connected. Um, but if we want, we can also put in the HDMI here, which we'll do in a moment. And you do have a USB port for accessories as well and just make sure when you're turning it on, the power button is over here on the right side. So let's plug in the HDMI. Now, if you're setting this up for the first time, you're gonna want to swipe down, go into settings, and you'll have connections up here at the top. And you can see YGIG and YGIG dock option right here. Just make sure this is turned on and you're connected. Now, you can see here I'm playing the game Free Fire, and this is something that is hugely more enjoyable on the large screen. Let's go ahead and stand up here. So you can see I can easily move my camera around and run around on the big screen. This makes a huge difference. So if you're playing family game, if you are playing this in your living room, this is definitely gonna be a whole new experience for you, and honestly a lot better than just sitting by yourself alone on the couch. This is now a social experience, which is much better suited to the living room. So as you can see, the YGIG dock is an incredible tool if you're gaming in the living room. But how does it work? Well, inside we have 802.11 AD Wi-Fi. So what that gives us is 4.6 gigabits per second of bandwidth and 20 milliseconds of latency, which is incredibly high bandwidth and incredibly low latency. This gives us an awesome gaming experience from the phone to the big screen. Now, if you are someone who's gonna be gaming a lot in your living room, or if you just want a really immersive experience and you wanna connect your ROG phone to a projector or a giant TV, you're definitely going to want to look into getting GameVice and a Y-Gig dock. They're absolutely incredible when paired together.